Yeah, in this video we are going to discuss like what is uh, Bego Force and why Bego Force is required and how it works, how the process works and what are the drawbacks. So Bego Force is basically the conversion process of text into some numerical forms and we can apply it in our data set. Uh, the process and Bego Force we can apply in our data set and it converts the data into some factorized form that we, we can apply into some machine learning algorithms. So why basically Bego Force is required is like in case of machine learning or some deep learning techniques we can't uh, give our text input directly to the model to train the model. So for that purpose we need to convert our text into some useful uh, into some numerical forms then, then only we can apply some machine learning and deep learning algorithms on the uh, that text so for this we need pego force like we need to convert our text into some uh, to converting for converting the text into some numerical forms we need the pego force next and the process like how pego force work so here we can uh, we are considering the first three sentences that he is a good boy and she is a good girl and the boy and the girl are good so these are three sentences we are considering here so uh, we have the analytical library for converting our normal text like normal sentences into some uh, into, into some machine understandable form so we are removing here stop words like uh, we have a library for removing stop words which removes some low importance word like suppose he is a and these words are uh, less important as compared to some other words so uh, the stop keywords library is used to remove these types of words and after removing it gives the output so if we if here we have process the word suppose for this word it removes all these three words and uh, it keeps that good and boy so similarly for second sentence also it converts the word uh, into convert the sentence into some machine understandable form and set similarly for the third one so after that what it does is like it uh, finds this histogram after, uh, the bag of words finds the histogram of the sentences or of the words uh, in the data set so here if we find the uh, frequency of the words the good word exists for the three times the boy word exists for two times and the girl word exists for two times so this gives the frequency uh, it calculates the frequency of the words and after calculating the frequency uh, it makes it 2d matrix where the column will be all the features the first that all the words and the row will be the sentences so for the first sentence when we are um, uh, checking when we are seeing that whether the first feature is exists in the first sentence so it assigns one here so second second feature uh, is boy which is exists in the second uh, first sentence so it is assigns one there the third feature does not exist in the first sentence so it is assigns zero there similarly for all the sentences it finds the uh, six like whether the feature whether the particular feature or whether the particular word exists in the sentence or not if it is exit exists in the sentence it will assign one or otherwise otherwise it will assign zero there so uh, similarly it finds for the whole uh, the find a matrix for the whole data set and get the factorized, factorized matrix and which matrix can be useful or which matrix can be used to train our model but uh, but the bag of words has some disadvantages like uh, it simply assigns one or zero like if the word exists it assigns one or if the word doesn't exist it assigns zero there so we can't uh, find the importance of the words in the back of words so for this we have uh, for this reason we have that uh, tf idea factorization like which which can give us some importance like which word is more important to the data set or which word is less important to the data set it can give us some values so based on the values we can find like uh, how the word is important to the data set or how uh, how the word is less important to the data set so in the next video we'll discuss about um, how tf idf works 